night. But I would just say to all of God's people, you know, you're going to have to sell all. You're going to have to keep your lights burning. You're going to have to stay, stay close to God. There is no evidence that the, the seventh era can get salvation through this period. They're counseled to buy gold in the fire and to overcome as Christ did. That's going to be after this period. So that's important to understand. When it talks about a little flock gets the kingdom, it doesn't mean them when Christ gets here. They don't have time to be ready. They're in a state of wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. You don't reward them with the kingdom of God. And we could, this is another thing I could get into. You don't reward them for the king, with the kingdom of God when they blew off church unity for 30 years. You just can't do that. And I can get into some interesting verses, but they better stay the course. They better, not, they better not be beating each other or scoffing at what they're hearing because they can take themselves off the path they just cannot get salvation with the little flock who goes first, who stayed the course for decades, dozens of years, actually. So th those are important things to keep in mind. And God's people around the world, I'm telling you, if you're sitting on funds, don't. You're going to lose it soon after anyway. So why not, why not gain eternal life with it? Continue to, to be loving and kind. Continue to give alms. Why is that stressed? because we're going into a dark period. It's going to be hard. People around you don't love anybody. They have a tremendous amount of love, I should say, for themselves. They're lovers of their own selves. That's who they love intensely. 